Servus guys and welcome to my next applied energistics tutorial which is about the metallurgic infuser and um, how the machine can be implemented into your ME system and uh, for me there are two well let's say good working ways um, one is with recipes so you tell the machine okay I want to have like um, 10 enriched alloy and the machine is producing 10 enriched alloys and everything is fine and the other way is with the um, level emitter the level emitter is capable of checking your system if a special amount of items is in your system so you tell them okay I want to have 100 of these enriched alloys in my system and if there are not enough in my system then the machine will start to produce these uh, rich enriched alloys so both versions I show you now in detail uh, the setting is a basic ME system, very simple with a lot of guards here, so we are safe. If you are uncertain about um, or if you are new to Applied Energistics, go check out the other tutorials on my channel about Applied Energistics for, or for, for getting used to the, to the basic stuff. So for this, um, for the mechanism machines, I ch suggest to get the uh, configurator. There you can check out which side is, yeah, well, an input side or an infused side or whatever. You can right click on the side to check um, the status and shift right click uh, is to change the status. So on the left side, we need uh, infuse. On the top, we need the um, export. So yeah, export and on the right side we need um, the import side. So red, the red side on the right side. So on top we put our uh, import bus, which is getting the produced items out of the machine. On the left side we, had our, uh, we have our export bus, which is exporting the infused material, which is redstone in this case. And on the right side we, will, uh, we, are <coughs> we have our um, ME interface, which is storing our recipe. So, yeah, on the left side we are exporting, as I already told you, block of redstone, which is our infused material. There we go. Now it's stacking up into the machine. And in the end, if the machine is, um, well, out of, out of order or out of recipes, um, you will see 64 redstone blocks on the left side. So now we have to tell the machine, okay, if we import or get one iron into the machine, then one enriched alloy comes out. So we have to create a recipe for this with our pattern uh, terminal. And uh, this is not a crafting uh, pattern, this is a processing pattern because we are, we are working with machines here. And we tell them, okay, if you export one iron, then we get one enriched alloy. And this is already everything we have to do. Um, just store the, the recipe, um, well, I'm shift clicking by the way. Uh, store them there. I'm getting this one out, so then this is working right and tell the machine okay uh, middle mouse click I want to have 10 enriched alloys and now 10 iron ingots should be exported yeah there we go and the enriched alloy should be imported by the import bus yeah this is everything you need to have for an enriched alloy um, yeah to create an enriched alloy with recipes or with crafting um, within the AE system or ME system. So this is very, well, easy. <laughs> ah, um, now I, uh, I'm telling in my German tutorial, um, the thing is with the infused material, there is a problem um, to, well, say exactly one redstone block or one, or one redstone um, equals one uh, enriched alloy. This is uh, the problem with uh, with that kind of machines. So therefore, I suggest um, that you are exporting the redstone right away, and um, you are not using ME interfaces um, to import or to export redstone to the machines because, well, not you can't tell the machine one one redstone is equal to one um, enriched alloy. I hope this is a bit of 
not too much confusing. <laughs> okay, so let's check the other um, version with the level emitter. So in this case, we tell the machine, okay, produce until uh, like 400 enriched alloys are in our system. So on both sides now we need export buses. On top there's the uh, import buses as well. And yeah, one cable, level emitter and um, yeah, just connect it. And we need a solid block right beside the um, redstone emitter, otherwise the redstone signal gets lost. It has to be like reflected to the export bus. So you have to have a solid block on this side, on the right side of the level emitter. So now we configure our things there and infused is okay. Um, output is also okay and input is also okay, right. So now for setting up the level emitter, we need a redstone card for the export bus and we tell them, okay, be active without signal. And there we say, okay, um, emit a signal if there are more than 300 enriched alloy. That means if there are not 300 alloys, then do not have, you do not have an, or do not emit a redstone signal. And as you might remember, we told the redstone card or the export bus with the redstone card, be active if there is no signal. So the export bus will work until the signal is there and the signal will be there if the limit of 300 um, enriched alloys is reached. So we tell them, okay, export um, iron until the limit is reached. So now it will export until we have 300 uh, enriched alloys in our system. And normally you will use like accel acceleration cards to speed things up. So you can uh, give the export bus some acceleration cards. But uh, keep in mind that this means that the, um, the amount of things getting produced is not exactly what you have set up in the level emitter. That means, um, well, the, as I already told you, the level emitter tells the export bus export things until the limit is reached. That does not mean that the machine stops working. So there will be a stack things in there. Um, even now, the level emitter is out and tells, okay, we do not export anymore, but there are still 50 iron ingots in there, which will be processed. So you, you will end up with, let's say, 350 um, enriched alloys. So this isn't the precisest method of uh, getting things into your system, but well, in the end, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to have a precise system, you have to work with a crafting system, with the system before and uh, not with this system. But this one is, well, yeah, you have to, you do not have to care. Uh, if you get, uh, if you th need this, um, the enriched alloy for something or whatever, um, the system also uh, automatically reproduces the things. So this is quite handy. So I hope this wasn't a bit, uh, wasn't too confusing. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you got any questions, just post them below. I, I, I'll try to answer them and uh, check out my other tutorials on this channel and on Applied Energistics. And yeah, thank you for watching. Um, have a pleasant day, have a pleasant week and see you next time. Servus, guys.